welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, my name is Krista and I am so excited that you are here. Today I am bringing you this dragon fire vibes look inspired by Game of Thrones. I am re-watching it before the season starts and I am was so inspired by Daenerys and how she's a strong freaking independent woman and I wanted to do a fiery dragon look so this is what I came up with. So if you'd like to see how I created this look using the James Charles palette, then just keep watching. Okay guys, so we are starting with our eyes. I'm gonna go in with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. And I did put a little bit of concealer on my lids just so that maybe I don't have to use so much of this. It does kind of crease a little bit. I'm basically just kind of gonna pat it out with my finger and we are gonna play around with some colors today I have been re-watching Game of Thrones so I'm very inspired by Daenerys and her dragons we're gonna do kind of a bit of a fiery look today I've seen a lot of really cool red looks so we are gonna go for something like red and orange and yellow and then I think I'm gonna put some blue under the lower lash line. Especially with dragon fire, it's like, you know, the blue so hot in their mouth. So I'm gonna do blue on the lower lash line. All right, so I'm going in with the James Charles palette with the white shade, and I'm using a Luxie 213. And I'm gonna set my entire lid with this shade. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to put red all over my lid and a little into the crease. And to do that, I'm using an R43 in this shade here. And you wanna make sure that this color is all the way down to the lower lash line and nice and opaque on the lid. And then I'm gonna take a Sigma Buff and Blend E39. It's kind of like a small crease brush and I'm gonna blend that into the crease and I'm gonna go back and forth with that little brush and pack on the color and then I'm gonna blend it out Now I'm going to take my Morphe M433 and this shade here and a little bit of this shade. And I'm going to blend that above the red and into the red. Then with a larger shader brush, this is the Morphe M511. I'm going to go in with this bright yellow shade right here. I'm going to blend that up. Okay, so now that we blended a little bit, we lost some of that red. So I'm just gonna go back in with that small brush and make sure that red is nice and opaque. And then we're gonna use that same crease brush to blend. And then that same orange shades. Just to make sure that orange still comes through. And then again with the yellow, just so we didn't lose any of that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and I will be right back. So I did end up doing the rest of my face. I actually ended up using this color mixed with a little bit of this color for my highlight. I wanted something like pink and kind of fiery and this is pretty, I love it. So now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the lower lash line. For that, I'm gonna be going in with the blue first. I'm gonna go in with this dark blue color here. I'm gonna mix it with just a hint of this color, mostly the dark blue. And I'm gonna put that on the inner part of my lower lash line. Make sure to tap off the excess. And I'm gonna go pretty far down with this blue. I want it to be like nice and noticeable. All right, and then I'm just gonna take a clean, this is in R39, and I'm just gonna buff that 
Then with an E18 in that red shade, tapping off the excess, I am going to connect that in the outer corner. Just only slightly overlapping the blue. Bring it up, nice and blended. And then we are gonna go in to that orange shade that we used to blend. And I'm gonna do a little bit of the orange and the yellow and I'm gonna blend out underneath. And I'm gonna blend that all together. And a little of the red. And then back in ever so lightly to blend that out. All right, I'm gonna do that to the other eye really quick. So I'm loving how this looks. I think it's so cool. I'm gonna line up my upper and lower waterline with the L'Oreal Infallible Longwear Eye Pencil in black. To highlight the brow bone, I'm just gonna go in with that gold color that I used on my face. Not the pink color, but just the gold color. And I'm just gonna pop that right on the top. Just gonna blend. Now I'm gonna do the inner corner with some glitter because I am gonna leave this pretty matte. So I'm gonna take the NYX Glitter Primer and I'm using a Vera Mona eyeshadow brush and I am going to pop this glitter glue on the inner corner. Then I'm gonna take this Sephora glitter pot, the gold one, and I am going to put that on the same brush I was just using. It's already tacky. And I'm gonna put that on the inner corner. Okay, so I put on some mascara and some lashes and I am just loving the way that this looks. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do a bright red lip. I am gonna go in with my Mary Jo K liner by Kylie Cosmetics. And I'm gonna line my lips. And then I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty Liquid Lip in Uncensored. All right, let's zoom you out. So I've had my hair in a braid. I washed it this morning, so and it was a little wet when I put it in a braid. I'm just gonna unbraid it. Give it a fluff with my fingers. So that's just a little no heat tip with my hair. It looks really nice and kind of wavy and fiery. And I'm super into the like braided no heat type of situation. So this is the final look. Ooh, it is so pretty and fiery and so inspired by Game of Thrones. I'm so into it. That pink highlight, I feel like y'all can't even see it, but it is so pretty. And I love the little pop of blue on the inner corner. It just kind of gives it that like fire. And I think it is just so pretty. Loving it with the lip color. Let me know down below if you are a Game of Thrones fan and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you are. Toddy bye.